Hello everyone, I'm on my way to my first protest against Artos in Cardiff and I'm absolutely bricking it because I've never been to one before. Um, if it wasn't for watching the artist Taxi Driver on YouTube, I wouldn't be going there today because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had the courage. My 20 year old son Justin has come in with me to support me because um, I suffer from social anxiety and have Asperger's syndrome but I am really interested in politics I really wanted to go there today to show my support um, so wish me luck I'm going to be filming some of it down there as well this is a residential street that leads to the Atos building which is behind me I was told no buses come to this area and it is hard to find. Many people have to get a taxi here, which obviously costs more than a bus. And parking is a problem because it is at the end of a residential street. After a little while of me being here, I learned that there were three other people here that had an autism spectrum disorder like me. Um, my son also got to talk to some of the protesters and interview them on camera, which I shall show you right now. Alright, what are we doing here today? We're wow. here to protest about how Atos treats disabled people and how hard they are to disabled people. And they bring them here to interrogate them and to judge whether they're ill enough or not to get benefits. And people who are disabled are upset and frightened and fearful because of these questions that they ask them and the manner in which they ask them. And it's led to many disabled people actually killing them somehow, you know, committing suicide because of the fear and anxiety caused by ATOS and their interrogation of disabled people. I think it's to highlight what they're doing to remind people once again who forget what disabled people have been put through and this has all been created by the Conservatives and Liberal government who really aren't reflecting what society wants and to treat people who often do valuable work and voluntary work in society like this is totally unacceptable. Yeah, do you think their uh, building, especially this one, is uh, easy to access or not? Do you think there's any reason behind that? Say it again. Do you think their building here is, is easy to find? I think their building here is very difficult to find. A lot of people have to get um, taxis here because uh, they're, they don't really tell you how to get here by bus or by walking. And so it's very difficult to find. Obviously, it'd be better if it was somewhere in the city centre because access to the airport is always better. If you're going using public transport to go into the city centre, so it's another burden. So they have to pay for a taxi to get here, which makes life even more difficult for them. How long have you been an activist against uh, Atos? Um, well, I've been actually against Atos since their creation. <laughs> Whatever precisely that was, I can't exactly remember, but. Uh, I think every, every person who's active in politics or environmental politics is hor horrified by ATOS and the way they behave and we've had a lot of support from the community and other organisations and politi other political parties in our protest here today and there are other protests that we've done already and we'll carry on fighting as long as we can. What, what are the changes you hope to in, uh, inflict on Atos? Well, I think the Atos contract should be totally scrapped and we should let people's doctors assess them, own doctors, make the assessment if they're fit to work or not. And there's no need to repeatedly send people questionnaires, repeatedly interview them, because it's too much pressure it makes life pretty unbearable when it's already very difficult when people are suffering from illness, especially those people who are suffering from mental health issues. It makes it extremely difficult for them to cope with the regime. 
So I think we should just scrum it all together. And it's shameful it's been introduced, and it's shameful it's been allowed to continue to treat people in this way. Alright, so um, why are you here today to protest that? Well, we're here today protesting gate at, at us because of their evil work and capability assessments declaring um, genuine disabled people fit for work and denying them of their benefits and we're here to really raise the profile of what they're doing especially uh, as at the moment they've been in the news and the, their contract being spoken about in government and so we're just adding our extra profile to keep them in the news and let the government know that we're not giving up on it. But, well, what changes would you like to see to Atos, if any? Um, Atos out t entirely and scrap the uh, work capability assessments. There was nothing wrong with the old system. I passed four um, examinations under the old system as unfit for work. And when I got um, assessed by Atos, zero points. Had to take it to the tribunal. And I won with 21 points and put in a support group. Um, and they shouldn't be putting people through that, especially, you know. As, like myself with me mental health problems, um, I also have physical problems as well, so it's just ridiculous and they've got to go, they got to go. Right, so can you tell us what we're doing here today? Um, I'm here today representing a group uh, called the Bedroom Tax Appeal Group and uh, I've came down to represent them and give some support to Dan Cymru. So, um, do you feel the same about the others in the way, in uh, the scrapping of Atos? Oh, without a doubt, absolutely without a doubt. Um, I see absolute horror stories every day working for the Bed and Tax Appeal Group, putting all my work and all my effort into there, and uh, it's exactly the same down here. It's just horror stories. And it seems this government is absolutely fantastic at one thing, and it's writing horror stories. They've wrote two bestsellers, Atos and The Bedroom Tax, and as soon as they're scrapped, the absolute better, without a shadow of a doubt, get rid of them. I had anxiety the whole time I was at this protest, but I'm sure I wasn't the only one. This is part of a conversation I had with one of the protesters. Crazy. Yeah, my mum's got a £30 a week and her home. But she um, got a four bedroom house and had four children because they eventually all left home. Yeah, yeah. Now she's struggling. Yeah. And you know, it's forcing your mum away from her community, she's lived in all her life. Yeah. The home with all the memories and all the family growing up there. So. It's just so wrong. It's absolutely so wrong. No, no, no person should be forced out of their home. No person. She's like extremely house proud as well. Of course, of course. And she's spent all her life in the house. She's decorated it. She's got everything she wears. All her memories are there. It's gardens there and everything. And it's the most cruelest thing ever. But I really, really think we'll be seeing an end to the bedroom tax thing. So not too much for you men to worry about. And that we'll see a destruction of our house. Just a destruction of them. We will demolish them. They're finished. Yeah. Let's have some fun and watch them fall down. She's disabled as well, my mum, so yeah. I'm worried when they start sending us a set. Yeah. I personally suffer from depression myself and I beat the bedroom tax um, by requiring the second bedroom being required for a carer, which is my son who lives in England and he had to come up down again to get me out of the flat. So I personally beat the bedroom tax, which is obviously great. So I'm fighting on behalf of others and like I said, the horror stories we're seeing about at the moment with Atos and the bedroom tax is just absolutely unbelievable. And um, we'd like to all of us to stand together and we'll defeat them. I was really glad I came today. I met some interesting people who share the same passion for justice as I do.
And as a bonus, I met other people who were on the autism spectrum, like me. After today, I would love to go again to another protest in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching.